Hello Floss Tube. Uh, it is October 27th. It's evening um, and uh, I realized I had not done a video today even though I sort of had a lot of things to talk about today. Uh, my name is Elizabeth Martinez, Fanta Stitches. Um, this is Floss Tube number 32 and um, uh, so I, I have some things to show you. Um, I, as I had mentioned last week, I finished my uh, my design for Come Thou Fount. Uh, so that is set aside. I have some finishing ideas. And um, one of the things I did, at, I spent a lot of money at Joann's this, the, I guess, last, last weekend, last Sunday. And um, I bought a... a, a piece of canvas that I might use I, I have some ideas to use to uh, to mount my design on that uh, rather than on a you know you know putting it in a frame or whatever um, I, I still have to I want to talk to to you know uh, my older sister about possibly doing something with the canvas um, and you know things are still formulating so anyway that's uh, uh that's what i'm doing with that so since i finished that i wanted to then focus on um uh, some christmas things uh both designs i want to do for myself for christmas and things i want to do for uh family for christmas and um so i have a bunch of things so obviously I'm, I, I had talked about before about doing uh, the tiny modernist Santa's house. Um, I don't have, I, I think I have another picture that I didn't download that has the, the dining room uh, here that uh, they released. And um, I don't remember, I don't know when the next one is. It might be this coming Monday, I don't know. It might be, I don't know. But anyway, so I, I I didn't realize when I spoke last time that this they had the, the center of the design here um, already charted out. So I started in this center and I had done uh, this so far. Um, and this is the fabric that I tea dyed. Uh, it's even weave. Um, but so yeah, so this is... Uh, the center of that design and this is this will be the dining room here so I've uh, I've gotten this far and I um, I still have some thread so I think I'm gonna <clears throat> uh, oops continue up the middle and uh, I think I'm right here and I'm gonna finish this off so that uh, this double center uh, line is finished because uh, yeah, I still I have these in the chart, but, but anyway, then I have this. Uh, I might go ahead and start on the dining room, or I might do when the, some of the designs that are on the outside of the house uh, over here or on the roof or something. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but so far, yeah, I just started the outline to outline the center of the house. But anyway, this is Santa's house. And I talked about my decision roulette thing, and I've since uh, uh, edited that a little bit. So I have three separate roulette wheels. I have one for my Christmas projects, one for my other whips uh, that are non-Christmas related, like Daily Walk in the Woods, the Piano Cat thing, and some others. And then uh, the third roulette is something else. Oh, new start. Um, but uh, with one exception that's going to be, well, or maybe, I don't know, <laughs> maybe a couple of uh, exceptions. Anyway, so um, so I talked about before about uh, this little penguin that my nephew gave me. And, you know, I haven't, like I said, I haven't done more on it yet, but it's, it's in the decision roulette so hopefully i'll get some more done on it um i've been doing i've been spinning it and uh like every other day so i do two days of stitching 
uh, that seems to to be a little bit more uh, in tune with what I'm feels better to me. Um, another one that was on the roulette that has been coming up <laughs> a couple of times is this ice skating penguin, which is almost exactly like the the Christmas penguin. It's very similar, but um, it it came with a, a in a card kit with a magazine that I bought. Um, so it's 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 very cute penguin on ice skates and this is uh, I made a lot of progress on it um, I have some of uh, this cream to do up here in the scarf and then it's white and gray and some orange you know, for his feet and his beak and, and I think I'm done I talked about before about this um, you know this kit came with the cloth the aid cloth and and Flosses for it, and also it, it was. It came with the uh, Cross Stitch Crazy magazine, the October issue of Cross Stitch Crazy magazine, and it came, so it came. You know, as the little free freebie with the magazine, <clears throat> and it came with all these flosses. But the flosses, you know, I'm not a, a floss knob. I don't. I don't. You know, I don't care if flosses floss as far as I'm concerned. And you know, um, it's all the same to me. I'll just use whatever's handy, but um, but but this floss is very fray. The the ends, you know, it's really hard to thread the needle, and um, you know, even though you know I'm a thread licker and I lick that thread and it just it doesn't want to thread, I can I can get the very very tip in, and if I you know grab it, I can pull it through and you know, but um, yeah, it's a pain in the butt. And right here, his little wing. Um, I didn't realize <laughs> there's a very light gray that looks white and and I guess when I was you know the one thing that that kind of was kind of frustrating was that the list doesn't say like how many skeins of what color there are and so there's a, a gray a light gray and a dark gray and the light gray is actually almost white and and I mistook it for the white I was like you know, looking at the colors going, well, I think this is cream and I think this is white, you know, and it turns out the light gray is one of those white, almost white colors. And, um, and because the, the, the gray and the dark gray, I thought, well, these look the same, you know, they look almost like the black. And so it was really hard for me to, um, to tell them apart. And what it was is that it wasn't actually a, another strand of, of dark uh, dark gray and you know so what I did was because it had the like DMC numbers so I used a, another piece of of this color it was actually n another kit from another kit um, but I used some uh, that I already had uh, for this wing here so you can see kind of see the difference because this color uh, dark gray whatever 3799 is what is in here also and you can't really tell you can kind of tell the light gray here i don't know you can't the coverage isn't great you know with either thread either kind of thread but i'm hoping that the back stitching that the hap happens around here will kind of cover that up a little bit but anyway so yeah i have a little bit of cream to do here and then white and then light gray uh to finish them off and then some back stitching and then the orange of course i haven't done that yet anyway he's almost done um and then also on the uh what i decided would be my new my high tea start um for uh the end of this month for october is <laughs> this poor little uh, uh six fat men uh thing snow fun um yeah, uh, Lizzie Kate. I meant to start this at the end of August, and I had put it, uh, I think, a picture of it uh, on my, um, oops, this is backwards. <laughs> this the center of the fabric. Uh, I had put this on uh, the Friday After Grid group on Facebook um, as my new start for August, and then I didn't start it. And in September, I started the companion piece, the the, um, <clears throat> my other thing, the, the prayer school Shanta, I started that in September. 
and you know and this one languished so this is my <clears throat> will be my October start finally but I you know because I had excuse me I had wanted to finish my design before I started before I got distracted and started working on Christmas stuff so now that that's out of the way I couldn't work on Christmas Day. Uh, and I mentioned I, I bought Cross Stitch Crazy Magazine this October issue and, um, and it came with the penguin that I showed you um, there's also an Emma Kong, Kong, Kongden, Kong what is her name <laughs> anyway uh, design this uh, uh, Northern Lights, and um, and there's a lot of uh, of uh, things, but there's an article about Priscilla and Chelsea in this magazine, and it was probably mentioned by other people, and I just you know forgot about it, so I was pleasantly surprised to see Priscilla and Chelsea in this magazine. Um, but yeah, so this this is, it, it's got a lot of uh, good designs. I like this. Um, this little skeleton cat right there, too. That's very cute. I'm not really a, a big, you know, the, I'm not really into the sugar skulls and the Day of the Dead and all that stuff, but I really like this little skeleton cat. Uh, but, uh, so yeah, so there's a lot of good designs. These little, there's some little Halloween designs in there that are kind of cute. Um, so while I was, I bought that at Joanne's. <clears throat> And, and, um, and I bought, um, a bunch of plastic beads, too. I, I bought them, I, I think I bought these at Joanne's also. They're, you know, they're colorful little plastic beads, little, little, little zoo animals. There's a rhinoceros and a lion and a giraffe and some elephant. And I bought it really for the elephants. So, and I pulled out all the elephants, and I don't know that I'll use all of them. I probably use just one or two, but... And, but before we went to Joanne's, my sister and I, uh, well, my sister <laughs> wanted to go to the yarn shop in Tem Tempe. And while I was there, I bought uh, this blue bead. And you can see it. Yeah, it's blue, this bead. And this little Eiffel Tower charm. And then at Joanne's, I bought this, it's upside down, this elephant charm. And I'm probably going to use, and, I, and I'm probably, oh, excuse me. Uh, and I bought some little lobster claw uh, pin, I, I mean, little finding. And I'm probably going to make um, a, scissor, uh, scissor, a couple of scissor fobs um, and uh, uh, a zipper pull or two uh, for, for uh, one, uh, a couple of my bags. And then the other thing I bought, um, I bought... I talked about how I wanted to do a white buffalo design of some kind for my brother uh, because of, he calls his van the white buffalo. And um, they had this little this little kit um, uh, with bookmarks. And so it comes with like, I want to say eight uh, brown and white and black bookmarks. And I'll probably use the black one because I want to do a white uh, design. And I kind of looked around and... And I saw one design, but then I couldn't find it again, so I don't know what it was. It was just a, a black and white, um, excuse me, drawing of a white buffalo. I didn't jump on it right away, and now I can't find it again. So, um, so uh, I was looking and um, not really finding anything as sort of simple as I wanted. And so I'm sort of doing a design of my own. Um, it, it doesn't look great, but I'm, I'm hoping that it'll look a little better. Um, but anyway, so yeah, that's my design of a buffalo. Um, and uh, let me think. Let me look at my notes real quick here. Um, Oh, and then the other thing I did was I experimented with some fabric dyeing techniques. And um, I had already talked about this, um, excuse me, while I reach behind me here, um, about this uh, tea dyeing experiment here. 
um, that I had done for this, uh, the Santa's house thing. This is, uh, uh, even weave. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I had, had tea dyed this, uh, fabric. And it's, you know, it's, uh, it came out okay. It came out okay. Um, but so I, uh, I did a few other things. You know, once, my dad used to, once upon a time, used to debone our Thanksgiving turkey. So he would like, you know, cut the skin open and take the bones out and then uh, season the meat and then put the skin back together and uh, with some, and kind of s tie it, sew it <laughs> with a skewer and some uh, cotton thread or cotton twine and then wrap it all up in a, like a sheet, what we used to call the Shroud of Turin. Uh, around the bird and then uh, tie it up with string and then bake it in the little shroud and then baste over it, you know. So when you took it out of the oven and cut the string, cut the fabric open and everything, uh, the meat was like in a, like a loaf and you just cut it with a, an electric knife, you know, we used to cut it and it would just cut it like a loaf. And because it was inside the skin and everything else, it, um, it would be really moist you know, and it was, like I said, he would season it while, you know, before he tied it up. So it was pre-seasoned and it was, it was just delicious. But one year he put a little too much sage inside there and the, the meat turned kind of green. It was very kind of green. It, was t it tasted fine, but it was green. It was weird. But anyway, so that got me thinking, hmm, maybe I should try the sage uh, idea. And so, uh, so this was white. Uh, you can't really tell, but it's a, uh, it's, it's a. Uh, I used sage, uh, and did I put? I think I don't know if I put any other spices in there, but um, I used sage, and I might try adding a little bit more, uh, a little bit more to the. Um, it's a small piece, but, um, yeah, I used sage to dye this. So it has a little bit of a slight, barely greenish cast to it. And I used tea. This is white. I had, like I said, a lot of white and antique white. So this is just linen um, that I, I, I tea dyed this. Um, and and this was coffee dyed. This is even weave. This is dyed with coffee. These are kind of this um just slight minor variations on the same shade. And this was tea um, with with blackberries. And I had kind of wished the blackberries when I first put them in there, um, they they put some nice red stains in there, but um, but then they seem to have, like all kind of, you know, kind of washed out. There weren't very many of, of them, the blackberries weren't, there weren't very many. But so, I don't know, there might be a little bit of staining right here from the blackberries. Um, but not as much as I would have liked. But, you know, basically it came out okay. Um, anyway, so, I want to, as I, I had mentioned on a, a Facebook post I did, I think, that, um, you know, I want to do more uh, experimenting with blueberries and blackberries, but I hate to use, to waste them, waste them, use them for dying when, you know, they're so good for eating. So, I don't know. But anyway, so also while I was at Joanne's, I bought some more fabric because I want to continue my dying experiments Maybe I maybe I'll buy some writ dye. I haven't you know done that either because you know, you know. but um, so this is thirty two count linen. And it's basically white, just white, and uh, twenty eight count even weave. And this is um, antique white, and this is white uh, DMC Charles Craft yeah uh, twenty eight count even weave also white, just begging to be dyed a different color. 
Anyway, so I think that is all uh, I want to talk about. Um, also, I think in my Christmas roulette, my Christmas project roulette uh, wheel is my, is that little wooden medallion I did, I don't know where it is now, uh, that I did for my nephew, that I started for my nephew uh, for his birthday that I didn't finish. Um, but uh, uh, I didn't finish it because uh, of the difficulty in stitching it, and I kind of have an idea I might um, do a... a some knotting on the back, even though you're not supposed to knot things, um, just so that, um, or I, I might do the, you know, stick it into the thread a little differently and see if I can uh, make it work, because that was what I had difficulty with. I bro actually broke a needle trying to, to, to get, uh, to, um, go underneath, uh, another thread because the wooden medallion thing doesn't have any give. Anyway, so, uh, but that's uh, on my Christmas project list to work on also. I just have to find it because I don't know what I did with it. I, I put it away somewhere. Anyway, um, um, I think that's everything. Uh, so it's, uh, I did a lot of laundry today <laughs> and uh, I slept late and, you know, everything else. So that's why this is, I did this, recording this in the evening. Uh, rather than this morning. I think that's everything. So, uh, once again, I'm Elizabeth Martinez, uh, Fanta Stitches. Um, you can find me on Instagram as Fanta Gray, and uh, on Facebook in the Friday Off the Grid group as Elizabeth Martinez. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I just want to say uh, welcome back to my subscribers. I didn't mention this at the beginning. And, you know, thank you to anybody. Thank you for watching to anybody who's uh, new uh, to this channel. And I hope you would subscribe and um, continue watching. Um, and I think that's everything. And I will see you all next time. Thanks. Bye.